Kansas City police officer will have a top-notch defense as he fights criminal charges in the deadly shooting of Cameron Lamb. Today, the Law Enforcement Legal Defense Fund praised Officer Eric De Valkanier. They say he's a hero, not a criminal, and they'll pay his legal bills. Here's investigative reporter Angie Rocono. It was clear to us that this was a reasonable, lawful, and, and frankly, heroic uh, use of force by Detective De Valkanier. Jason Johnson says what happened last December is tragic, but it wasn't a crime. It was an officer doing his job. Never seen a case like this um, resulting in criminal charges, not even close to it. The Law Enforcement Legal Defense Fund supports officers they feel are wrongly charged. The board of directors contains heavyweights like a former attorney general and retired FBI leaders. An officer can appeal for help, but the director says he contacted DeValconeer himself after reading and researching his case. Because politics is involved, there's a contested election in the fall, and we have this sentiment about police out there, it can be advantageous to go after unlawfully, unreasonably, and unethically. Go after law enforcement officers, and I, I, I strongly believe uh, that is what is afoot um, here in this case. What we believe, though, is that his conduct was reckless. Two months ago, a grand jury indicted D. Valkanier with involuntary manslaughter. Prosecutor Jean Peters Baker pointed out officers did not have permission to enter Cameron Lamb's property and said they simply raced to the backyard to confront him following a high-speed chase. Police say Cameron Lamb pointed his gun at another officer. And that's when D. Valkanier fired his gun. We don't take every case that are, it comes before us. Private organization is currently representing other officers in high profile cases where prosecutors argue they cross the line with sometimes deadly results. But the defense fund counters these are good officers who did their jobs. That doesn't make them criminally guilty of anything. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News. We reached out to the prosecutor's office. She did not have a comment. Neither did the lawyers representing Cameron Lamb's family.